shoulder is blown out. Hmm. Extract bottle. Tool top. And, okay, I kicked this one loose. Thought there was another one over here. Huh, not sure I'd seen one of these before. Looks like, whoa. <laughs> channel, my name is Tom. I go around digging up pioneer era trash deposits across the United States. Today I'm in Leeds, North Dakota, standing in front of what was once the David Feeder residence. I got permission to excavate the backyard, so I'll take a walk around back and see what's going on. Walked around the side of the house and noticed this architecture and that leaded glass window. This place was built around 1894. I love this kind of architecture. I'm in the backyard on the fence line and probed out a ton of stove ashes. To me this gives the indication of a dipped outhouse pit. They would have cleaned this out and then filled it with stove ashes to fill the void, but all we can do is open it up and hope for the best. Shot through a layer of cement, some paving stones. You can see we have a couple layers here, but we actually have two bottles on the way out. Looks like a drugstore bottle and a food type bottle. This one probably have to come out first. Nice. Manufactured by Harmony of Boston. The Rexall store. Tooled top, good age. Now this looks like it could be a food bottle. Okay, the bottom's blown out. Early machine made though. Here's the hall through the start of the use layer. Got a doll head, hair clip. There's some fancier style dinnerware. This was no doubt a prominent residence. The house confirms that, it has the architecture. I also got this. Patented September 24th, 1907. This is a drugstore bottle. I'm not sure I've ever dug one in this style though. I'll have to do some research on it. Look like it might have had fire damage. Top's knocked off. It's a Schmidt from St. Paul, Minnesota. Pre prohibition. Looks like maybe some kind of condiment bottle. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it might be a salad dressing of some sort. Would have been a paper label. made. This is seeming like a kitchen's ash dump. A oh, little drugstore bottle. Another pickle bottle. And a ketchup bottle. Part of a label still on it there. Probably illegible. Another food type bottle, pickled goods. Pittsburgh, H.J. Heinz Company, Pittsburgh. I just found this enamelware plate. Kind of a cool design on it. We also have a couple things on the way out down here. It's like huh. Chaz H. Fluster's Castoria. This was a castor oil medicine, tooled top. All right, now this rusty spittoon pot. Looks like the bottom of some kind of bottle here. Oh wow, saw some of the paper label. Tooled top. It's been in the ground over a hundred years. Now this piece back here has been frustrating me. It's been in the way. I'll see if I can pull it out. There we go. Broken crop, slip glazed. If there's any stamping on it. Nothing. Thought I felt something underneath it, so. I'll see what else is going on. Ink bottle. Minneapolis. Standard Ink Company, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Metal top. cleaning this out. Just pulled out another drugstore bottle, like the rest of the stuff in this pit. This is over 100 years old, probably about 1910. Well, got a few more things on the way out. These I had loosened a bit. Uh, yeah, ink. Uh, it's from 
that's Carter's. Okay, Carter's ink. This was really popular around the turn of the century all across the US. A <laughs> big drugstore bottle. Another food bottle, tooled top on this one. Feel some writing on the bottom. 20 ounce. Alright, this one. Already had loose. Looks like another condiment bottle. This one's sticking out. It's fairly easy digging here, so. Okay, oh, the bottom's knocked out of this one. Another condiment bottle. Uncovered this piece and a stoneware wash basin. This looks like an AS Hinge style bottle. It's not embossed with it, although it was likely a paper label. I've seen a lot of these. All right. A few pieces. This one here has some color. Okay, Palmer's. It's actually yeah, an emerald green color. Tooled top. It's a toiletry type bottle. Another pickle bottle. Machine made. somewhere. There we go. Shoulders blown out. Hmm. Extract bottle. Tool top. And, okay, I kicked this one loose. Thought there was another one over here. Huh, not sure I'd seen one of these before. Drodentine? Oh, nice sunburst on bottom. This would have had a paper label on the panels. Some kind of toiletry, I think. Between my feet. Another condiment bottle full of groundwater. And there's something in this wall. Looks like another condiment bottle. Oh, 
Oh, it's got a partial label. Uh -huh, a salad dressing. Mystery solved. So if you notice, there's a ton of ashes. These are stove ashes. I'm not sure if this was a dipped preview or just an ash dump, but there's something sticking out here. Take a scoop with the shovel. Looks like an extract bottle. Rifling down a test hole with a shovel, and notice this jar sticking out. Huh. It looks cracked. Machine made. That almost looks newer than a lot of the stuff I found in here. Must be a first of its kind or something. Anyway. There's also a couple pieces down here. Where'd they even go? Here's one. Another pickle bottle. Man, I thought I saw something else. There it is. A little threaded top pill bottle. That's an earlier one though, even though it's a threaded top. Well, we're getting warmer. Salad dressing, if we could read what this label says though, the brand would be great. I saw 1906 on it. Maybe we'll find another. This one, let's see, Eddie and Eddie. Chemist St. Louis. Hmm. Part of a label, but it's too far gone. There's something else here. I think it's a whiskey. Looks like. Whoa! Kind of a standard whiskey, sometimes these things will be embossed. But, yeah, this would have had a paper label. Tooled top, though. Decent age. Looks like there's actually something behind it here. Food bottle. Early machine made, circa 1910. You can see the woodline side beyond there that I was talking about. There's a creepy doll head. Uh, bisque porcelain, biscuit porcelain, made in Germany. Hmm. Lily. Say hi to Lily. All right. Another pickle bottle. And I think there's another jar over here. Yeah. Just a standard food jar, early machine made. Still finishing it out. Let's see, near the top to a beer. And I saw this just sticking out of the side. Should have been embossed. Little drugstore bottle. Alright. Yeah, man. 
bottling works. Leeds, North Dakota. That's a tooled top. Looks to be in good shape. Jelly jar. This pit's almost done. I cleared all the walls. These kind of fell out. It's a little medicine type bottle, ointment, cream. A drugstore bottle. Partial label, but illegible. Another one in the same condition. And a food jar. One last bottle. Drugstore bottle. Cleared all the sides out. She's done. The pit's all finished up was six feet deep, five feet around, woodlined. Here's the hall. Everything was fairly typical of a residence. Beater crocs. Some extracts, an ointment bottle. Salad dressing. Drugstore bottles. A few toiletries. Some medicines, that soda bottle, doll parts, ladies' hairpiece, some ornate dinnerware. Shows that the family may have been a bit well off. Ketchup bottle, ink bottles, pickle bottles, old plate, whiskey bottle, beer bottle. Some more food pickle bottles. Mission complete, we'll get this pit filled back in.